What is up everyone, it is Michael and welcome back to the AFK Arena video. Today we'll be discussing the best game mode inside of AFK Arena to focus on and that is the Heroes of Espera. The amount of rewards you can get from this event is game changing along with learning formations that work when it comes to the PvP side of the game. Now in today's video we will dive into the Heroes of Espera main areas of rewards, goals for the event and also WoW to free to play formations. If you need any help with the Heroes of Espera or any other game mode inside of AFK Arena, feel free to join the Discord which is linked down in the description. Your questions will be answered as soon as possible by either me or a moderator. A huge thank you to all my supporters on the channel. As of recording, we have reached over 250 subscribers on the channel, which is outstanding. I can't believe the amount of people who are willing to give this channel a chance and further support the channel by clicking subscribe. Your support doesn't go unnoticed and I will be forever grateful for all of you. Without further ado, let's get on to the guide. Now moving to the Heroes of Esper game mode. Put simply, the Heroes of Esper is like an extended version of the Arena of Heroes, so if you don't know what the Arena Heroes are, it is basically a PvP side of the game where you fight other players and go higher into the leaderboard, but the difference with Heroes of Esper is that you can get a lot more rewards. Now an example of the Heroes of Esper battle, so let's just say we went into a fight here, let's say I picked the number 2 person, now I can set my formations, now, the higher you are in the event the more formations you will have to use, but you can select begin battle, and obviously this is like a new format, it's like an esports side of AFK Arena, which I think is very very cool, now you can skip all the battles right here, as you can see I won the battle freezer and have gone up into the ranks. Now it tells you exactly what you did, so I surpassed 23 players and I rank above 98% of global players and it shows you my new rank 8500 along with the other ranks as well. Now as you can see I'm moving up into the leaderboard granting me more rewards, for example Essence. But the first topic we want to talk about when it comes to the Heroes of Espera is all the rewards you can get starting from the bronze tier. Starting from the bronze tier, you will get a lot of gold, especially if you're starting off within here. Now, if you're ranked high, you actually will start at a specific tier. So instead of starting at the right at the bottom, you actually start around this rank right here, even at the 4000 as well, if you ranked higher within the previous Heroes of Esper. But the rewards here are absolutely crazy when it comes to the gold. Now this is pretty good for early game, but when you get later into AFK Arena, this just becomes fodder. Moving on, you do get more gold granted to you, along with the blue stones. Now moving up, once we get to the 60 elite soul stones, now this is critical as you get a chance at a cell hypo hero. Slowly moving forward, you do get more gold along with another summon with the elite hero soul stones. Awards at 2350 are absolutely amazing, especially when it comes to the Heroes of Esper level chests. These chests include either the emblems, purple or gold ones. Now these focus on the 1 to 10 signature items and these focus on the 11 to 20. They also include the engraving. Now this engraving can go up to the plus 30, but I actually don't recommend you choose either three of them. I recommend you choose the Twisted Essence as you want to upgrade your Elder Tree as high as possible. Now moving further, you get more gold, obviously the higher tier you go, so now we're in silver, and you want to pick of course the Twisted Essence here, moving along way more gold, now this does add up over time, pick the Essence in that chest all the time, as it will add up, as you see more gold when you go into the silver tier, more Twisted Essence within the level 1 chest, slowly moving forward to the silver one rank, more twisted essence along with the gold. Now when we get to gold V, the chest changes to a level two Heroes of Esper chest. Now this ups the amount of quantity of the rewards, so this got changes to 40, 25 along with the 10 red chest, 200 twisted essence, with the POE coins and along with more elemental shards. Now what would I pick in here? Now I wouldn't pick the POE coins as you can get this every day, same with the elemental shards along with the emblems down here. Now I either pick the rare chest or the twisted essence, now I highly recommend you actually just pick the twisted essence as it helps with the elder tree and the elder tree is one of the most important things to build in AFK arena. Now moving from gold V a lot of people will be ranked around here especially, but you do get more gold around here 
course and yet again the level two chest pick either the twisted essence or the red chest but i honestly would just go for the twisted essence yet again now moving forward obviously more gold and pick the essence yet again we've been gold free moving up to gold two you get even more essence out of here as well and along with the gold which do add up over time now gold you would get easily in afk arena but it's good to have a lot of gold especially if you want to push within the store and get everything that you can or even upgrade the gears of your heroes but moving up you get more essence and gold etc now onto diamond free now diamond free is a great rank to be within the heroes of Espera as this changes to a level three chest. Now the quantity of items have increased adding also red emblems in here which is absolutely huge but out of all these I would still pick the twisted essence. Now the reasoning of this I'd go into this further if you haven't already go check out the power leveling guide on the channel I will leave a link down in the description and it will show you why to pick the twisted essence in here especially within the store and how to power level in AFK arena the further we get into the rewards of your Espera we do find that there are essence within here as well and power leveling is one of the most important things inside of the game and it will show you how to power level and it will show how to maximize the value of your account. I'm moving into Diamond 3, you obviously get the Small Hero XP part, which helps with the Resonating Crystal, but this is also complemented with the Essence. Now, this is what I just talked about, the Power Leveling Guide, which will be down in the description. You really want to watch that video, especially if you want to get a competitive advantage inside of AFK Arena. This right here is very game changing, especially if you want to upgrade your Resonating Crystal. Now, this is obviously more in detail into the Power Leveling Guide. Moving forward, you do get obviously more XP along with the Essence, which is absolutely huge. Now onto my current rank, which is Diamond 2. You do get another level 3 chest, which is absolutely massive, along with XP and Essence. Now this is a common trend as you move further up to the ranks, more XP and more Essence. Now as you get into the Diamond 1, another level 3 chest, which is absolutely huge, and the same trend line of the XP and Essence. And you actually get even more essence up here, having double essence and to end it off, another level 3 Heroes of Esper chest. Moving on to start 2, an absolutely game changing part of this game is to build the pets in AFK Arena and the only way to do so is through the baits. Now baits are a scarce resource in AFK Arena, anywhere you can get them is honestly so much of value, so I highly recommend you push to either start 2 and get to the 10,000 trophy range. Moving up, you do get more XP along with the Essence to power level your account yet again. Now, there's only one player in here, which is absolutely crazy. Once you get higher into the ranks, obviously the lower players you will see within the division. But moving up, you have more Essence moving up to star one along with Bates, which is absolutely incredible. And obviously the XP followed by the Essence along with more of the same trend line moving up to the final rank of Master. Now to get into this tower, you just press the top here and it will show you the best players ranked within the Heroes of Espera within the Legend tier. Now this is for whale specific, so this will show actually the top 2,000 players I believe. Now if you are a whale in AFK Arena, you do want to focus on getting onto this leaderboard, especially if you want the best frames. Now onto the personal rewards within the side of the Heroes of Espera. Now each time you go up a rank, obviously the more rewards you can get, now the higher you can get within this game with obviously the more rewards but you honestly want to aim for master as beyond master the rewards don't change at all the only difference is within here now the league point rewards are used exclusively for the frames as we go into the season rewards where those points are used now competitors will receive league points at the end of the season unlock more rewards by earning more league points now a thousand points can get you to this frame right here the Heroes of Esper Elite Frame, which is absolutely amazing. Now, if you are new or free to play, you can get this HOE Brawler Frame for 50 points. As higher you get within the ranks, obviously the more points you get, granting you a better frame. And I believe I'm a thousand off the Conqueror Frame, which is absolutely amazing. Now, obviously this isn't a high priority, but if you like frames in AFK Arena, then this might be for you. Now another way to get rewards is actually through the champion bounties which is found at the top right. Now these rewards are okay 
when it comes to the premium pass, but when it comes to the free rewards, they, they aren't really good. But if you're willing to spend a bit of money when it comes to the premium pass, you are getting some value. When it comes to 16 of the resources chest, you can get either two whole summons when it comes to the Elder Tree. So you get 1600 Twisted Essence, which I highly recommend you choose, or you can go for the baits as you can get a lot of pools within there as well. And I honestly wouldn't choose anything else in here, maybe the red chest, but these two right here would give you the most value. You can also get 600 red cores, which is absolutely incredible, especially if you want to push the E60 engraving. Moving on to the 10 stargazing cards as well. So that is a whole summon within a cell hypo, or if you want to push an awakened hero star, you can definitely summon for that and 1600 other elemental shards as well pushing the e30 engravings especially for some heroes is very important and of course the 10 time Edlands. forever you can get time Edlands is absolutely value now unfortunately this is only for paying only but if you are paying for this you are getting a lot of value now that would do it for the rewards Focusing on pushing high within the Heroes Esper will grant you obviously more rewards, but when it comes to this game mode, you actually want to set yourself some goals. So now we'll go through what goals you want to set for this event. Now moving over to the screenshot, now you will actually see this screenshot before you join the Heroes of Esper, and I actually want to touch base on this. Now, if you are a free to play to low spender, you actually want to focus on hitting at least diamond to star. Now, this will grant you a lot of stargazing cards along with the tier 4 gear. And the chest at the bottom grants you the common scrolls. So you actually will get 50. And if you hit star 60, now the main goal here is you want to push star because you get 10 extra stargazing cards along with two extra tier four gear and also two extra of the chest, which grant you 10 more common strolls, which is absolutely incredible. Now, if you're not a free to play player and you actually want to push this event a lot, and you want to focus on either hitting star or master, but in my opinion, you want to go straight for master. Now, looking at the difference of rewards isn't massive. You do get an extra tier four gear along with five extra stargazing cars. But when it comes to the scrolls, you do get 60 for either star or master. But being in the master tier does give you more stargazing cards which is essential for building more cell hypers or adding stars to the awakened heroes. So I 100% recommend you push the master tier inside of Heroes of Espera. If you are a whale and you definitely want to push beyond the event, specifically for the frames, your goal is actually beyond the master rank. So beyond the 2000, if you want to have more league points, which goes to the frame. Now, when you look at master to the legend rank, the rewards don't change, but the only difference is within the league points. Now you do get a thousand when it comes to the legend rank, which is absolutely massive, especially if you want to push the frame. So if you are a whale, you obviously want to push as high as possible. And obviously, if you are free to play, low spending, a whale, a dolphin, whatever you are, you want to push as high as possible anyway. Now, forget about the legend rank. Your main goal is to push master within the Heroes of Esper. Now, another goal in Heroes of Esper would be utilizing your diamonds. Now, this can come when it comes to buying more Challenger tickets. Now, the first purchase will actually be for 10 diamonds. And each time you buy this, it increases by 10 diamonds which is absolutely critical, especially if you want to push this event and get to the highest rank possible. And not only that, but you can utilize your freshers. So I'll just refresh this guys to show you as an example. Obviously you do get a lot of refreshes a day, but at some point it will stop and you actually have to spend 10 diamonds again. Now this is actually worth it if you want to push this and find new opponents. But if you have a lot of tickets within here, this should be hard to pick one, especially out of the five options here. You want to buy as many tickets as possible, utilizing the 30 diamonds only purchases so you can push this event higher. Now the refreshes are okay, but you do get a lot of refreshes per day. Now obviously every reset this refreshes, so you would get obviously your free tickets to obviously partake within the event and attacking another player. And obviously your refreshes will be free. Now this is a very crucial part of the mode. I want you guys to set a goal. So say uh, you want to buy 20 diamonds worth of tickets every day and maybe refresh it at least once, especially if you're struggling to find an opponent for you. Utilizing your diamonds in here grants you an advantage, especially if you're pushing higher within here.
Now moving over to the formations within the Heroes of Esper, we are going to start off with the Whale formations. Now before we get into the formations, we actually want to press this exclamation mark right here and it is going to give us some insight in what to know when it comes to building formations inside of the Heroes of Esper, especially when it comes to the martial ratings. All of a player hero's ascension tiers will remain the same and start with a hero level of 240. Hero levels may be additionally increased based upon the player's resonating level. Now the higher resonating crystal is, obviously the higher level you are within here. Now for example, I am level 321 within the Heroes of Esper. Now obviously other players are higher than me as you can go up to 900 level crystal. You want to get your resonating crystal to a minimum of 240 so you don't have a disadvantage within the event. Now moving down to gear, or hero gear, a mythic T1, including faction bonuses which are enhanced. If a hero is already equipping mythic T3 or higher gear, the original bonuses will be retained. So gear is very important inside the heroes of Esper, so I highly recommend you utilize the gear on the heroes you are using within the formations. The same applies with the signature item, all signature items and their skills will be retained. So the highest signature item you have on a hero, obviously they will keep that signature item even in the formation and will do well within there. So if you don't have certain heroes built with their signature item, I highly recommend you use your resources, especially within this event to rank higher as the rewards in here are insane and you don't want to miss out on them. Moving to the Elder Tree, players' current Elder Tree levels of Virtue attributes will be retained, including all of their effects. Like I said with the Twisted Essence, you want to pick them up when it comes to the road, or you can call it really a trophy road when it comes to the rewards. Obviously, the higher you are, the more essence you will get, especially within the chess. The Elder Tree is so important in AFK Arena, and if you haven't already seen the Power Leveling Guide, please check it out. It is linked down in the description. It will help you build the Elder Tree faster, along with the Resonating Crystal. Moving down to the Oak in Furniture, all the effects and skills granted by Hero's Furniture are preserved, so the 9 and 9, the 3 and 9 Furniture will all be retained, especially the 9 and 9 and beyond. So say you had a 36 Furniture Hero, that 36 Furniture on the Kritcher, for example, will still be retained and absolutely dominating the battlefield. Onto artifacts, the effects of artifacts will not be retained, so artifacts are useless within the mode, so don't worry about that. The same along with unions. Now internal engravings, engravings attributes and skills are retained and are based on the engraving level. So say you had an E80 Awakened Fane, that Awakened Fane at E80 will still retain his engraving. So don't worry about that. If you have engraving heroes, chuck them in the formation as they will reign true. When it comes to the whale formations inside of Heroes of Esper, you want to start off with Awakened Matria along with the Hypergeans, utilizing Savage Souffle, on to number two, you want to utilize Awakened Belinda along with Rowan Aziz, Palmer and Rain, utilizing the bonuses with the Library Faction along with Aziz as the support. And you want to use Awakened Belinda with the Rock Lizard of course for the most value out of this formation. Moving over to Formation 3, utilizing Alna, Awakened Baden along with Silas and Yennefer. Now Yennefer is a beast at the E60 engraving along with Odin. And you want to use the wing line with this formation to get the most value. On to number four, you want to use Phil along with Tano's Nevi Awaken of Failure, making a staple in here as well, along with Awaken Soul Lease, and of course the Talisman Beast. On to the fifth team, you want to use Awaken Brutus paired with our better Ram Milan and Joan of Arc. And of course, the slumbers still absolutely are doing amazing inside the Heroes of Esper. Now, obviously, if you need the three teams for a while, just use these three teams right here and you will do amazing within the first stages of the Heroes of Esper. When you get further, you will need five teams. Now, when it comes to the free to play formations, now I tried to make five formations within free to play players. Now, if you are free to play in AFK Arena, you do at least have three Awakened Heroes built, especially if your account is at least one years old. Within the first formation, you want to run Estrelda, Hendrik, Rosaline, paired with Awakened Fane and Hey Loose. Now, obviously, if you don't have the Savage Souffle, obviously, it's not really needed. You can just use Rare Beast. Now, I'd actually go for the green one right here, especially with Awakened Fane. 
Moving over to the second formation, now this looks familiar with the Awakened Belinda, but you can just put Scarlet in here and get a lot of value. Now the Rock Wizard in here would do well, but like I said, you can just use the rare ones in here. Now the White Beast would be well, especially for the rare ones in here, obviously free to play, you might not have all the Epic Beasts built. But this formation right here actually works really well, especially with Scarlet. Moving over to number 3, now if you don't have Awakened and Maiden, Grezzel will work here along with Alana, Silas, Pharrell and Odin. If you don't have the Wing line, try to use the Black Beast as well. Now these three teams right here will help you within the first three stages, but if you are beyond three stages as free to play to low spender, moving on to team 4, now this is a wilder team right here. It's kind of cheesy, especially with the Talisman, using Mishka, Laika, Nevi, along with A-Star and Awakened Soul Lease. Now, majority have Awakened Soul Lease built, so this formation will reign true. And if you don't have the Talisman Beast, use whatever beast you have as high as level, especially within the Heroes of Esper, you want to use your best beast possible. Now onto the final team, utilizing our better Awakened Brutus. Now I know a lot of people have Awakened Brutus built, along with Joan of Arc, Irons and Merlin. If you don't have Joan of Arc or Irons, you can honestly replace them with whatever two dimensionals you have. So you have Leonardo da Vinci and you have Ezio, obviously great replacements right there. But honestly, you want to fill this formation with a lot of dimensionals paired with a Brutus. If you don't have the Slumber Seal, use your highest level beast and this formation will do very well. That will do it for the Heroes of Esper guide. I really hope this helped you when it comes down to the rewards and what to pick, setting goals for yourself within the mode, making it more rewarding, and obviously the wow to free to play formations. If you need any more help with the event or anything regarding AFK Arena, the link to the Discord will be down in the description. I highly recommend you join and ask questions as me or moderator will answer it as soon as possible. Also, if you haven't already, check out the Power Leveling Guide which will help you level your Resident Crystal and Elder Tree faster, especially if you are struggling within the Heroes of Esper, having the Resident Crystal to level 240 does reign true. That video will also be linked down in the description. Let me know your thoughts on the Heroes of Esper game mode in the comments below and I'll see you all in the next one.